Hello everyone, welcome to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Calibri Dash Web Lace Guitar Project, which I found when I trying to get a ebook manager type software to manage all my downloaded uh, digital books and uh, also my IT documents. Then I found Calibri Dash Web is quite meet my requirement comparing to original Calibri lease software which you also can find it from GitHub project it's already have 20k Calibri dash web has almost 14.1k right now Calibri does have a web interface already through a port 8080 which you can use browser to show you your Calibri libraries but uh, considering the designing, the web page, the intuitive, the web UI, so Calibri Dash Web, this project does do a much better job. So that's why I decided to test it in my environment and build a website for myself. And I think it's good also to share to the all people who watch my channel. So now let's start it. Calibri Dash Web is an independent project from original Calibri project. You don't have to install Calibri on your system to start to use Calibri Dash Web. So that's what this video is for. I'm gonna show you how easy in five minutes you can start the Docker with Calibri Dash Web and then you can start to import your all digital books, comic books into your system. There's a Docker image created by Linux server, which you can find from Linux server, Calibri Dash Web. And there's a little bit of guideline here. But when you come to deployment, it's always not that clear. So that's why um, I wanted to create in this video and show you like, exactly each steps so you know how you can get it working properly without going through some uh, missing steps and just like me spend a couple hours to try and figure that out. So that is what this video for get you to start it in five minutes then you can start to focus on your books. As you can see from Linux server Calibri dash web this docker images description you will find this docker compose and docker run command which we can directly copy paste to use it or you may want to change a bit before you can use it. To test in that I always using play with docker this docker sandbox environment to testing it. I do have my own blog post for this deployment you can find it from my website and you will find those docker command as well but since we are using docker sandbox environment play with docker.com this website we can directly paste that docker run command and see how it goes ctrl shift v once you copy the docker run command which is easiest way for us to do it will download the image since they can't find it from local it may take just less than 30 seconds so everything gonna be ready and then we can open port 8083 that's actually the easiest way we can test this so we can start in to do 8083 default username admin password admin 123 those information you can find out from docker hub Linux servers docker's description page. Well, once you logged in, you will notice they are trying to get you configure database connections. We don't have that. And in the original docker image website, they didn't talk about these pieces. We have to get our own Calibri database, An empty one, or you would maybe something it's already in there but we need to have a database because this one will not create a database for you so i already have that ready in my website for you so if you download the flash db so we can use this link to 
directly download that one and put it into the right place. So let's go back here. You need to find out your database place. It's inside of a library folder because we have mapped books folder to library folder. So then we can put this wget command to download this metadata.db which you can see is a SQLite format file. Once we have that, we can go back to our database configuration page and then choose that folder. Let's go up, up, and it's books folder. So we already have metadata.db now, so we select it and we can save it. Now you should be able to browse this web interface, Calibri-Web, and see more from there. And you can play with it until you feel comfortable, then we can deploy into our own VPS, which is next step I'm gonna do. To demonstrate how to install Calibri Web on your VPS, I'm gonna use my own Ubuntu 22.04 this server to do step-by-step -step tutorial here. If you want to look at the steps I already put into my blog post here, so I'm gonna go through all of this, but if you want to see the command, you can come back to this blog post, which you can find out in the video description. It's always start from apt update, so then you're gonna, to make sure you have enough memory and CPU, for my, this server is very small server. If you want to increase your web size, depending on your machine's CPU memory. Just like what I have in on this machine, I only have two which CPU and one gig RAM. My need to increase my swap size. So in this case, I can add swap for one gig, depending on how much you already have. So then you can add another one gig. So because I already have one gig configured, so which you can see, I got this website, so it won't all be successful. But that's the point. If you need more memory, then you can add a swap file for your system. After that, you probably want to install Docker and Docker Compose. In my case, I already have it. I need to upgrade it. Same thing, you may also want to install Docker Compose. So Docker Compose is already the latest version. So after you did all those, you can use Docker Compose or you can use that Docker Run. I prefer Docker Run because it's much simple and easy to do. There's one thing you need to know, depending on your user, you might use in regular user, so then you need to find out your PUID, PGID. Since I'm using root account, the PUID and the PGID both are zero. You can use id that command to get your PUID and the PGID value. So perfect, Docker run has completed. So you can use in Docker PS to see your Docker status. So it's open on port 883. Now we can see our public IP. Then we can use in IP plus 883 this port to access this website now. Let's give it a try. So one thing you need to know, 8083, you have to open it to the public if you have firewall. I'm using Oracle VPS, so I already opened that port from the Oracle dashboard, the console. So if you didn't do that, just go back to your Oracle console and open a port 8083. If you want to know more about the Oracle VPS, then check this video for that. I'm gonna log in. Again, so we need to get the database. So we're gonna go back to our command line. We will go to our library. We just go to the library, gonna use in wget to get the library. So we're gonna use wget command to download this empty 
metadata.db file and then config our database connection to layer books data select and save now you should be able to see one quick start guide this is just a record we don't have book in our system so that's how the ui looks like we're gonna go to users and we're gonna add it as a user because we don't have upload option so there's one thing you, you need to do after you did this if you want to upload your books you want to import your books you won't see the button here you have to go to admin to add it basic configuration to give the permission to enable upload so then you need to choose allowed upload file format so I will keep it default, but for your information, it support MP3 and quite a lot of format here, even MP4, WAV. So they can play back audio, but not video. MP4, they only can play audios inside, but not videos. We're going to test that. Save. So now if you go back to books, it will be refreshed. Now you should be able to see upload. So I have some examples here. So I'm gonna import all of them in a different format. Just I'm gonna import all of them. You can import multiple files in one time. Upload them, it's processing. Let's wait a bit. Perfect. The files are already here. If you want to read it, just click on it. And then you can download and can read in browser. This is EPUB format. You can read in browser as well. If it's audio, you also can play it in your browser. So hope you can see the background music playing. Same thing on MP4. I do have one example here. You can listen in browser MP4, but you won't be able to watch it. For the EPUB, you also can change, convert from different format, EPUB format to KEPUB format. You also can edit it, the metadata. So those are all basic things you can do. At this moment, we are still using public IP plus port number to access in this online web library we just created. If you want to use your own domain, then you have to register domain through eu.org or us.kg which those free domain provider you can find out from here to get one and integrate with cloudflare just as i did here then after you integrate it then you can create uh, your own subdomain for your application so here is a step i'm going to show you how you can use your own domain to map to your Calibri dash web list online library and then access to it. So we're gonna create the one called uh, books and then we're gonna map to the IPv4 address. I'm gonna use the MPN engine X proxy manager, which I'm using widely in my videos. If you watched the previous video, you can see me to configure nginx proxy manager for all kinds of applications I created before. So this is a similar one. So the books, this subdomain gonna point into our MPM's public IP, Nginx proxy manager's public IP. And uh, we're gonna enable proxy status. We're gonna save it. 
So in that way, we create a A record books dot fifty one dot org. This subdomain gonna point in to our MPN, and then MPN as a reverse proxy, then gonna send the traffic to our this one nine two one eight one five five dot six eighty eighty three. So we're gonna configure that. Add a new proxy host, and we're gonna put the domain books dot fifty one stack dot org. And now we need to put the IP address and the port number eighty eighty three. You can enable all those features here. It's publicly accessible. Um, that we also want to enable SS. We can now request a new SSL certificate. You can force SSL. Of course, we can agree. That let's increase terms of service. Once all done, save it. Perfect. So all seems working. Now we can click this to see if it's working. Done. Now we are able to read the books in our library using our own domain. So that's all for this video. I hope you. Enjoyed it and get some useful information out of it. If yes, give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel. If you haven't, that will give me a great support. Again, thank you for watching. See you in my next episode.